Hello, Hope. I want to come to you today and talk about uh, this Sunday. As you know, we're going to be relaunching in-person services, and I, I want to share with you my heart as to why we're doing certain things and how we're going about having services. But before I even do that, it would be amiss for me not to take this opportunity just to encourage you. I know that uh, our nation right now is reeling. We're going through a, a horrible time because of a gross injustice. And, uh, you know, at Hope, we, we believe firmly what the Bible tells us, that we are all created in the image of God, and we stand strongly with anyone that is marginalized in any way, shape, or form. And we stand for justice, and we are praying, and we need to be praying. And that's one of the things we look forward to of gathering is in one voice together, lifting up our heart toward God, because the answer is God. We know that. We ask that he would just move across our land right now and bring healing. So again, I don't want to miss this opportunity, but I want to speak to you because we are gathering Sunday. And I know that in this season and time we've been with the pandemic, there are all kinds of opinions and ideas of how to do anything right now. And uh, as your pastor, I just want you to know, we felt it important that we felt through the season there was a point where we needed to dive in. We needed to take a step of faith and say, Let, let's open back up slowly in a way that allows people to make decisions on their own of what they're comfortable with or not to be in a live worship because we've been worshiping together in fact uh, through our live stream which we are going to be continuing and probably from now on until Jesus returns in one shape or form uh, for those that are not yet ready to gather together but those that are coming we just wanted you to understand what to expect and, and how we're going about it so number one uh, in email you received and let me just say if you didn't receive our email please go to our website Hope Charlotte and contact us through the contact page. Make sure we have your right information. But in the email, there were certain things we asked of you. Number one, we asked that you would register. The reason we are doing that is simply this. We've had to shrink the size of our auditorium chair-wise in order to do physical spacing to get the majority of you in this place that want to come. So we can accommodate about 120 folks in the auditorium. And we need you to register so we can prepare for you. Because again, we welcome your kids. And so we would love for you to sit together as family units and as you gather. We also are asking you to register because we only have 120 seats. So we don't want 150 of you showing up at nine o'clock ready to come in and, and we don't have space for you. So please go to our website under events and register. The second thing you may have noticed is that we're making a very clear statement that if you're going to be inside and engage in worship, and if you're in the building in any way, shape or form, we're requiring you to wear a mask. I know that uh, masks aren't controversial. Everybody just has opinions. Uh, here's what I know, and here's what my decision's based on of why we're doing that. Our building is not very large. It's hard to socially distance in here. And I wanna make sure that everyone that comes feels like they can openly be here and, and enjoy engaging God in worship and in prayer together. So we're requiring the mask, because think of it this way. Uh, the Bible teaches us in Romans, is a tenet of Christian faith that we should live in this way in honor, preferring one another. When I go to the grocery store and I wear a mask, I know it's not protecting me, but I'm saying to everyone else around me, you matter. And I, I don't want to take a chance that I may be one that spreads something into your life that causes harm. So we're going to be very adamant about that. So again, if you're coming inside, you're, you're going to have a mask on. Now, if you want to come to the property and be part of what's happening on our patio, we're going to be live streaming the service outdoors. You're welcome to be out there. You don't have to have a mask to be out there outside. We still would ask you to respect each other socially distancing wise, but, uh, but that's available to you. It's going to be hot. If you're going to be outside, I, I tell you, bring a hat, bring some sunscreen, bring some water, but that's going to be available to you. So again, just a few things that we want you to be aware of so that when you come, you'll be ready for what to expect. We'll be opening the doors only 15 minutes before service starts. At the end of service, at the nine o'clock service, we're going to ask you to leave fairly quickly because we have to come back and re-sanitize everything. Everything in this building has been sanitized according to the CDC guidelines. We're doing our best to make a safe environment for you. So it's gonna be different, but it's gonna be good. Now, we also have this one last thing, and that is you're aware that we have opened up the toddler classroom. Uh, we're gonna be checking in kids on the sidewalk by the toddler classroom before service. Again, everything has been clean, sanitized, great requirements, great procedures. Again, we want your, your little one to have a great experience while you're here. Hope we love you. Listen, this is very much an experiment. What you experience this Sunday may be different than the next, but we're going to do our best to create an environment where ultimately we will all feel safe coming back together 
and worshiping God as one. I'm going to say it one last time. You're going to hear it from me a lot. You'll probably get tired of hearing it. It is not a matter of faith. It is not a matter of loyalty to hope whether you come or not. We are not judging anybody based on their decisions. This is a strange, strange time we live in. We all have to make our own decisions. I'll give you the perfect example. You won't see Miss Denise here for a good bit. Because of a physical condition she has, she doesn't feel safe coming. And as her husband, I want to honor her and protect her. And those are the kind of decisions we're all having to make. So again, we love you. I hope to see you soon. But either way, you can count on this. We're going to minister the gospel, and we're going to bring hope however and wherever we can. We love you. God bless you.